Okay, so today we're gonna go and um, talk about all of my past running shoes I ran during high school. So let's go find the shoes actually. basically a full trash bag so let's uh, start with the first shoe okay so let's go back in time to freshman year the little freshman Nick's looking for his first shoe for the cross-country season and what I ended up choosing was the Brooks Ghost 10 now I recommend these for freshmen and sophomores like the first two years in the season because these have like plenty of foam for you you won't get injured in these but more advanced runners they're just better options than the ghost line like the run contra hokas and just like the whole like nike line there's just a bunch of better options than these but for a beginner runner these are really good some cons though is that they're not really breathable like here is okay but as you go more to the middle they're not really that breathable but it is a very secure fit, I do remember that. Another bad thing about this shoe is the heel collar. Uh, if you have like sensitive skin, like very like irritated, like easily irritated, uh, I would be wary of the heel collar because it may make your heel bleed and no one likes that. So actually fun fact, I ran in these shoes way too long. I ran in them all my freshman season for cross country and track which you should never do in a shoe you definitely need to get new shoes after i say 400 500 max miles nothing more than that because i don't know of a shoe that can go past that these definitely cannot so the upgrade i got in the summer of sophomore year the brooks ghost 11. i do not like this shoe uh I like it a lot less than the Ghost 10s. This shoe is just, it's just heavy. You get really hot really fast in this shoe. And there's not much to say. It's just, it's just a worse version of the Ghost 10 in my opinion. Yeah, I don't really like this shoe. So my uh, sophomore track season, I decided to get new shoes. Now I make the same mistake I did freshman year. And I decided to go with the Brooks Levitate. Now the difference between these and the Ghost 10s is that these are lighter. But I do have to say they do not have as great a traction as the Ghost 11s because here it's just like this arrow pattern, which uh, as you can tell faded away pretty decently, which you know isn't great for track season because you do need that traction. <laughs> get it track traction yeah you like that joke so but with all like brook shoes in general i'd like to say they're not the best at breathability because here like it's just this thick cloth mesh thing and it's just not really easy to breathe in they're great winter shoes i can say because of how less how, like unbreathable they are so they keep your feet nice and warm but in the summertime and the heat and track season in the spring it just turns your feet on fire and again the hill collar like the ghost 11s gotta be wary of that just how high it is and I, I don't know if you guys can see that but the actual fabric itself is uh, pretty torn down from all the rubbing against the ankle so now we're getting to my sophomore no my junior summer and I decided to uh, go with the Hoka Carbon X now, it is a major jump to go from a shoe like the Levitates and go to a shoe like the Carbons. 
One, because the, the actual upper is a single piece mesh that is honestly the best shoe, the, the best breath breathability I've had in a shoe. And the fact that it has carbon plate in it just makes it amazing for thresholds, tempos, any workout you want. And then the fact that it has as much foam as it does and how light it is, it's honestly the best running shoe I've ran in. The one major con though is the price because it's 180, which is a lot for a running shoe. And again, I don't know what it is, it might just be me. But again, the heel collar right here, as you can see, I like torn the fabric just from, cause when you first get the shoe, this is very, very rough. So I would wear band-aids on your heels, but that's probably just me because I don't know, I guess I have like frail skin. But one tip I recommend for your beginning issues, do not run them until you can see the carbon plate like I did for actually both of my shoes. Here's the surprise. I got them twice in one season. I don't know why, but yeah, don't run until you can see the carbon plate because that's a big no-no. But actually, I don't have the next shoe I ran with me because I threw them away because they injured me a little bit. So after I ran out of my first ones, I decided to get, you know, a new pair, a new shoe, and I decided to get the New Balance Fuel Cell. I'll put like a picture here of them. If it's like not there, then you can look it up, I guess, or I'll put a link down below. And like, I don't know what it was. There's just like not enough foam underneath the shoe and it messed up my knee. That's like an injury that's been lingering me for uh, ever since like sophomore year. But yeah, after that, I uh, decided to go back to the carbons and honestly, it helped me a lot. And then, but yet again, I made the same mistake of running it until I can see the carbon plate. You can't see as much as this one because I caught it early, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's not very smart. Now in the winter of my junior year, I actually ran, I decided to change shoes again and I went with the Hoka Rincons. So these shoes, um, they're actually lighter than the carbon, which surprises me. And like they're a little less breathable because they don't have the one mesh upper like the carbons but again they're very breathable very good shoe i would definitely recommend these instead of i would re definitely recommend these over the brooks ghost because they're just a better version of it they have plenty of foam as you can tell they're super breathable they're great for quick workouts or long runs they can do the whole gamut basically so this is this is the perfect starter shoe if you're trying to get one shoe and I have like 20 shoes like me. But yeah, Hulk and Rencons, great shoe. And then during the track season, I decided to keep the ball rolling with them and I got a different colorway. Honestly, I like this colorway a lot. It's like a B comb in the bottom. But one con about these Rencons is, and with any Hoka really I've been with, they don't have great traction on the bottom. Like with the Rencons, it has a little bit but like it just it just gets eaten up by everything really fast and then with the carbons as you can tell there's like basically none left on the shoe but now we're to the shoe i'm currently running in which i'm gonna try to say this correctly <laughs> the Saucony uh kinvaras or is it is it kinvar i think so i think it's kinvar but honestly this is another great all-around shoe like the Rencons. I just wanted to get these because, of course, you know, the season got canceled because of Verona. But that's, a, that's another video. And, um, yeah, this is a pretty good shoe overall. It has uh, a little less foam I would like, but honestly, I haven't had any problems with them. And the breathability, it's alright. Like, and the, like, the upper mesh is, like, the same as, uh, let's say, like, the Ghost 10, kind of. Actually, they're not similar at all. I don't know what I was thinking, but... But actually, this is like the first shoe that I haven't had a real trouble with the heel collar. Like right here. It's like pretty soft, so that's good for me. And... Oh, here's a big... This here's a big pro. I don't know if you guys can see, but like right there, the gusseted tongue that just connects the tongue to the actual shoe, um, that's just great because it gets a really good, secure fit. Actually, I forgot. 
the Hulka, uh, the carbons actually have a gusset tongue tube, so that's a that's a good thing. I've been looking for a lot of shoes with gusset tongues recently because just how secure it is. But if you just want a shoe that can just get the job done, nothing fancy, then I would definitely recommend a Saucony. But so yeah, those are uh, all my running shoes. I have a lot of running shoes. Uh, I'm probably gonna go back to the Carbon X's after I run through these, or I might try something else, I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching, I'll catch you later. Adios.